Elliot tonight trying to stop the closure of one of the prisons in our region set to close. This one trying to keep the doors open at the Togo facility, which is northeast of Grand Rapids. The closure comes as the Minnesota Department of Corrections faces a multi-million dollar budget deficit. But state and local leaders say one of the programs run by the prison is vital to inmates' recovery, and they won't let it go without a fight. CBS 3's John Cardinelli was at the rally today and has the story. Hundreds attended a rally in Nashwalk on Monday. It's about the jobs, and it's about the results of the work that the people that at Togo do. To save a prison that many call an asset. I don't think there's anywhere else within the prison system that has results like this program does. Earlier this month, an announcement was made that MFC Togo would be closing. In total, 68 inmates and 48 jobs will be impacted, as well as the loss of a major program to help inmates get back on their feet. And instead of being in prison for 48 months, they, they get out in six months and they are actually uh, giving back. But according to local and state leaders that spoke Monday, much more is at stake. The prison's Challenge Incarceration Program helps inmates learn life skills and contribute to society. I know in the Big Fork community, the ice hockey rink did not exist before, and a local church and the um, MCF Togo CIP guys made that hockey rink happen. While the CIP program does operate at other prisons, the warden of Togo, Gino Anselmo, says the seclusion at Togo is what has led to lower recidivism rates for those who participated in the program. And that in itself just kind of creates a therapeutic environment. And then you bring on um, staff who are supportive and treat people with uh, a lot of respect and dignity and are willing to, uh, to help them out. That, all of that combination kind of creates this uh, positive culture. A positive culture that many in northern Minnesota do not want to see disappear. It's a really good program and both at Togo and at Willow River and it needs to be supported in the environments that they're in and that just takes some working together across the aisle. Corrections Department officials say this plan has the least overall long-term impact on their operations. The prison is set to close within the next year.